Tempestili International is a company we have recently bought in our global mandates. We believe this share represents an attractive risk-reward equation. Investors are buying some of the world's premier betting brands at an arguably low rating on a very low earnings base, while possibly also receiving a free option on potential corporate activity. For some background, Tempestili's share price has fallen dramatically in recent months, from $70 to $45. This has occurred because of a cancelled supply agreement with Mattress Firm, the largest retailer of betting products in the USA. Prior to this, Temper derived 20% of its sales from Mattress Firm. Temper has subsequently provided fresh guidance that it should be able to still generate $400 to $450 million worth of EBITDA in 2017, including the impact of lost Mattress Firm sales. We estimate that this translates into earnings of approximately $2.90 per share, placing the share on a PE multiple of about 15 times, which is a low earnings base. Furthermore, Temper announced in February a poison pool shareholder agreement, which we interpret as an attempt to ward off unwanted hostile approaches. We believe that if there is a suitor for Temper, the most likely candidate would be Steinoff International, which is Mattress Firm's parent. Although we have no expectation or certainty of any deal in the short term, given that Steinoff will be focused internally on replacing lost sales in their mattress firm subsidiary. However, Steinoff does have a history of vertically integrating its operations around the world, and Temper is no, no, no doubt worth a lot more to them than any other shareholder in the world, given that they could reinstate the mattress firm contract on their terms. In conclusion, we believe Temper is, Temper is a quality business with great brands that shareholders are buying at 15 times depressed earnings. What shareholders get for free, in our view, is a put option whereby they could be ultimately acquired at a, at a value 30 to 50% higher than the current share price. However, should nothing happen, we believe downside risk is very limited at current levels.